Good morning and welcome to day two in Paris. We've just left the hotel. It's currently just turning eight o'clock. We're going to nip to McDonald's, get some croissants and then head to the studios. Robin earlier was like, I think it's raining outside. And I was like, it's not meant to rain. It came outside and it's soaked. It's soaking, but it's actually stopped. However, <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the hair because any bit of moisture in the air, it just goes Oh, I so, didn't say on my phone 100% humidity. Oh, so, fantastic. We're afroing it today. Afroing it. I mean, it looks nice now. Let's just, again, give it some credit in the morning and then an hour later it's going to be like a bloody bush. Um, but yeah, no, we're excited for today because we're going to do Tower of Terror this morning, aren't we? Yep. Maybe. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm going to do it. Once. You get one shot yeah, at me. Just no, do it she once. said twice. <laughs> Starving this morning. We'll get a wee coffee and a croissant and then we'll hit up the studios. Oh, we want to see what else I want to see today is the Together show, the Pixar yeah. Together in the studios. Um, and then if you want to see Mickey and the Magician, since Robin watched it through her eyelids last time, <laughs> um, you might want to see that one again. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> First up, Tower of Terror. <laughs> I'm so exciting. There is lots of boarding up in this park right now because they're reconstructing some of it. And they're also going to be shutting Studio One for some refurb as well. I'm not sure when they're doing that, but they're obviously doing this bit first. Is it 55? Oh my god, it is 55. Spider Man's five. Oh, we'll go Sp Spider Man. <laughs> right, who's gonna win? I am me. I am a bit of a champion on this. <laughs> but then if I don't get a good score, then it's like, are you really telling the truth? <laughs> like, I swear, I swear. I usually do do a good job on this. You're blue! <laughs> we done well! We did! As a team we done well, but Sam was the star of the show. Yes! Who are you? We all got a tie. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I know it. She won. <laughs> How dare you try to take the title away no, from me? I mean, yeah, it was a tie. It was a tie. Oh no, I think that oh, no, was, that was combined. Yeah, that was our score overall. I think we're gonna. Did you want to then check Tower of Terror this time? Yeah. Try yeah. It. Robin's like, oh no, I don't want to check out the tower. <laughs> and it's still raining, it's still raining. Yeah, you really suit it. There you go. I think when we go on the ride, you come off, you get it. Yeah. Right, we're now in Disneyland Park. We're going to quickly nip into the Emporium. Just in case. We've seen somebody with the jumper, with the fluffy jumper. So let's. Let's do this, shall we, and see if it goes. It's a Saturday. They might, by the way, it's very, very busy today. It is a Saturday. But let's go into the Emporium and see. Right. I mean, I'm really not getting my hopes up, but a little part of me is like, could it be here? Could it be nowhere to be seen? So. I just want to jump on it. <laughs> so annoying. Well, 
do you want to do now? <laughs> go, nothing, I just go on the jumper and go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, Phantom Manor was at five minutes. Right. Always a fatal. Go and do Phantom Manor. And then once we're going to do a, a, a bit around this park, um, we're also going to watch the parade here tonight and the nighttime show. But at some point we're probably going to pop back across to the Walt Disney Studios, watch Pixar together, um, and also want a corn dog. There's a corn dog where you also get the little eclairs um, and yeah so it's the same stand, it's the same like little stall um, and that's just beside where you meet and greet Woody and Jesse. so it's like bit like that cars area a bit. So let's, when we go over to go and see that show we'll grab a little corn dog as well. <laughs> In the Walt Disney Studios, it has started raining again, so I have to wipe the screen every so often. But Cruise's Coasters is sitting at 80 minutes and single riders 60. And then we're just gonna go and get our corn dogs, which are like just over here, next to where you meet Jesse and Woody. <laughs> so the corn dog looks so nice and you could get a choice of sauce and that came to 12 euros with that and a drink. <laughs> together and it was as good as I remember it. Yeah, it was really, really good. So good and we were right at the front. We were sitting right at the front. We were right in front of the orchestra. They were amazing. Like they're the stars of the show, I'm not gonna lie. I just I have no words every time I come out of it. I'm just like so good. So good. Oh, if you're gonna see anything, see that. We are going to head to Sequoia Lodge now, um, to the bar there. So it's like a very cosy feel in that hotel. Um, and we're just going to get a, a drink and probably go for a beer again or something. Yeah, I'll see what their cocktail menu's like. Yeah, apparently they do do good beers as well though. I've read. Like maybe slightly different ones. So we'll have a look and see what beers they offer. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a little alcoholic drink for sure. <laughs> and I've never been in the Sequoia Lodge before either, so it's definitely going to be something new for me as well to have a look at. So, we looked everywhere for jumpers. Oh, and there was a massive queue outside and we were like, why is there a massive queue at Walt well, Disney? Is it because they've got the jumpers back? Uh, and it's not, it's just because they were, what were they getting? Pen, like, pen exclusives. Pen exclusives. I was like, I'm not waiting for, for that pen exclusive. Pass. Yeah. Pass. yeah, I know they're so cool, aren't they? Because we've got a Disney oh, show. How, how far? And then there's an Orlando one over there, and it tells you how far the parks are from this park. Which is quite nice. Quite a nice little oh, yeah. thing to, to look out for. So I don't actually know where we're going on to be getting. Um, I don't know my way around this hotel, so we're just going to have to wing it and find the bar. I'm sure it's not going to be that difficult. Nice, isn't it? Redwood bar? Yeah, up the stairs? You've got a shop. <gasps> Could it be? Could it be? Are we going in the shop then? Right, let's go in the shop. Can we get in this side? <laughs> it's quite, quite a big shop actually. Lots of Wish stuff. And there. Oh, probably not.
No. No. Let's go find Duna though. Oh, we need the poos. I have finally got our little table at the Redwood Bar. Our server was amazing. I want this drop. Um, wasn't he? He was fun. Yeah. Very hyper. Yeah, <laughs> love love a bit good bit of service. So have a look. Uh, menu. A Rocky Mountain cocktail, grey goose, coffee liqueur, espresso, vanilla, almond drink, blackberry puree, and black currant powder. Do you want it to be on your bum? Nope, not today. Not just now, anyway. The sequoia soother. Non-alcoholic. No. Absolutely not. Ooh, Bellini. Mmm. Mmm, I like it. Oh. Like Bellini. Two beers down in the Redwood Bar, and it's. Fantastic. Lovely. Chris um, is a credit. Chris is the best server we've ever had. So don't think you'll ever watch these vlogs, but Chris, if you do, you're amazing. <laughs> and I will be putting in a cast compliment. You can put in cast compliments at the um, city hall. So don't forget that as well. We've finished our little drinky in the bar, in the Redwood bar. And do you know what? It was so nice to speak to our server, Chris, who had been with Disney for, well, since it opened, so in 1992, and he said he'd worked in Billy Bob's, he'd worked in the nightclub when there was a nightclub here, and he had the pin to show it. It was amazing, it yeah. was so nice. And it was just such a nice vibe in that hotel too, that I think now when we come back, if we're ever going to stay on site, we might actually go for Sequoia Lodge, yeah. which is, yeah. Was really it nice. was really nice. It was just, you know, when you just get that really nice vibe, like that's what we yeah. got with the staff, with everything. Like, I've never stayed there, I've only stayed at, well, we've stayed at Newport, yeah, and then I stayed at Hotel Cheyenne before, but that just gave something different. Uh -huh, it was, it was just right, I don't know, a homely vibe, just a homely uh -huh. vibe. I loved it, I really did. So <laughs> We are going to head back into the parks now. We've got Captain Jack's booked at half past five for dinner, which we're super excited about. It's 20 past four. 20 so past long. four, so not long. <laughs> it's time for our dinner at Captain Jack's. So we are in Captain Jack's, but we think the the, um, the ride is down because the, all the lights are on, which is quite cool to see it all. Um, but we are going to go for... We're going to go for the 45 euro menu, I think, and you get to choose a starter, main and a dessert, which is actually quite good. But if you didn't want any of those, you can choose from the main menu but it obviously will cost a lot more um but yeah, yeah. if you like everything that's on the, the pirate treasure menu then it's totally worth doing it pina colada has arrived it's beautiful absolutely just to die for i can't even explain it um fake coconut by the way um and robin got a mojito it's which is licorice instead of the brown sugar. Yeah. yeah. It's got like kind of licorice taste to it, but it's nice. Do you know what? It is nice. I did taste it. It's nice, but it's very strong. Yours is much stronger than mine. Is it better now you've mixed it together? Yeah. Yeah. Now, me and Robin both went for the black pudding and sausage starter, which looks really yummy. I mean, it smells amazing, doesn't it? And then Eva got from the kids' menu tuna wraps. a little tuna wrap. Yeah. Oh, oh this, sorry. this honestly smells. What's this bit in the middle again? Can you remember? Pickled veg. Pickled veg. I think clean plates just show how much that was delicious, wasn't it? Yeah. Really? Um, the sausage had so much flavour, and although the black pudding isn't like our old Scottish black pudding back home, um, it was nice. it was still nice. Yeah. It was. Probably rate that a four, four out, out of five. five. Yeah, four out of five um, for sure. I rate this um, three 
or four out of five. Three or four? Yeah. What, your one? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a little tuna wrap, isn't it? Yeah. This is the Caribbean chicken with the prawns and the rice. That's the mai mahi chicken, uh, mai mai fish, yeah. not chicken, fish, with some rice. Nobody's had it before. And it, no, I've not even had that before, so I don't know if it's nice or not. And Wait, then Eva got her wee chicken. Chicken, nice, right? Sorry, hope you don't mind me filming you while you're taste testing. Mm. Yeah. That is nice. Is it? You need to try this. Right. Watch. Try it. That sauce is really good. Mm. It's nice too. Mm. I'm liking it. And I've had mine before, so I know that I like mine and it's good. But the mahi mahi chicken. It, why do I keep saying the mahi mahi chicken? It's not chicken. The mahi mahi fish. Rice is in the coconut. Oh! Rice is in the coconut. That's so cute. I actually noticed that before. Yep. Um, so time to tuck in to my chicken and Robin's fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think the ride is starting again. There's such a nice view from the restaurant as well. So lovely. I really recommend eating here. The dessert has finally arrived. We went, both went for the rice pudding. Was it with a mango? Mango. Mango kind of puree. Mm. Nice. nice. I have definitely had this before and I know I liked it. So I'm, I know I'm going to like it tonight. So that's good. The lights are finally out. And the ride's back up and running. So I think what we're going to do is maybe jump on Pirates after our dinner, which would be quite nice to do. <laughs> what did we think of dinner, guys? Dinner was good. Well, yeah. It was nice to taste something a bit different. Yeah. Because I've never had Caribbean so, food before. You enjoyed it. Yeah, not the rice pudding. We didn't. No. Oh yeah, the, the children's rice pudding. It came with caramel, like a caramel sauce, and it was just a bit bitter, wasn't it? Mm. it just needed to be a bit sweeter, but. The adult's rice pudding that came with the mango puree. Oh, so good. So good. So good. The whole course, every course that we had was like so, so yummy. Yeah. Um, then we went on to Pirates afterwards. We've been on Pirates. We're now going on It's a Small World. I've not been on that this trip yet. These guys have. When I went to the um, surprise pop up, you guys popped on it. And it's yeah. only a five minute wait right now. It's currently just after eight o'clock. So we've still got a couple of hours to kind of kill before the nighttime show. Um, I don't know where we're going to stand at the nighttime show, but we'll we'll try and find a, a decent spot to stand. But we're not going to be waiting. We're not going to get our spot, you know, hours before. That's not who we are. We just kind of rock up and we just see what space we can get. Yeah. Don't we? Make room. <laughs> make room. Make room. And like how pretty it's a small world is behind us. I love fantasy land at night because it's just like so lit up. And even though the teacups are, yeah, like the teacups are shut this trip, but like they're so nice and lit up. And then you've still got these wee stalls kicking around fantasy land as well, which I think are very, very cute. <laughs> No, never. So it is now what half eight? Starters, five minutes. All right, I think we have maybe found our spot for the night show. So here's Discovery Land. We come out of Discovery Land, and it's just the railings here. Now people are already standing here, and they're already like lined up down there. So I'm thinking, actually. This might be a good spot we're allowed to stay here, um, so we'll keep you posted. Um, but I think if we are allowed to stay here, it's a fantastic spot. You're not, yeah, like you're not facing right onto it. You are to the side, so you might not see everything like face onto it, but that doesn't actually matter that much. Like you've still got a very good view.
room right now from watching Disney Dreams and the new Electrical Sky Parade which was really cool. Um, this might be controversial but it was good and I did enjoy it but I think I prefer Illuminations. So let me know if you think the same because I'd be interested to know who prefers what. Um, but I think I preferred like the drone, like the 30th celebration drone show and then Illuminations. Um, but from the spot, we we can confirm, the spot that we stood at, so good. And I would 100% recommend standing there. Nobody was pushing into us, really. Well, you're maybe one person. <laughs> um, but nobody pushed into me. We were all very civilised. We had a great view. We had no phones in front of us, no kids on shoulders in front of us. So stand at those railings by Discovery Land, because it really was um, good. And Robin's feet sore. He's sore. It's been a long day. My back's sore. So we're going to retreat for the night. And it's our last day tomorrow. So if you did get this far in the vlog, then thank you so much for watching. And we shall see you for the final day tomorrow. Oh. Bye! You're squatting. <laughs> I'm just trying to stretch everything. Bye! I'm oh, sorry, bye! <laughs>